Peekaboo, peekaboo, peek a peek a peek a boo. Oh, we have Amos here and a couple of his friends. He has several friends. But one day, the title tells us, a sick day for Amos McGee, but his friends know what to do because they're good friends. This book was written by Philip C. Steed, illustrated by Aaron E. Steed. And this book was published by Roaring Brook Press. Look at his cute little house. I love his house. Let's find up, find up, find out what's going on with Amos. Amos McGee was an early riser. Every morning when the alarm clock clanged, he swung his legs out of bed and swapped his pajamas for a fresh pressed uniform. He would wind his watch and set a pot of water to boil, saying to the sugar bowl, a spoonful for my oatmeal, please, and two for my teacup. Belly full and ready for the workday, he'd amble out his front door. Every day, Amos waited for the number five bus. Next stop, City Zoo, the bus driver would call. 6 a.m., right on time, he'd reply. Amos had a lot to do at the zoo but he always made time to visit his good friends. He would play chess with the elephant who thought and thought before making a move, run races with the tortoise who never ever lost, sit quietly with the penguin who was very, very shy, lend a handkerchief to the rhinoceros, who always had a runny nose. And at sunset, read stories to the owl, who was afraid of the dark. One day, Amos awoke with the sniffles and the sneezes and the chills, he swung his achy legs out of bed, curled them back again and said, ugh, I don't think I'll be going to work today. Meanwhile, at the zoo, the animals waited for their friend. The elephant arranged his pawns and polished his castles. The tortoise stretched his legs and limbered up. The penguin sat patiently all by himself. The rhinoceros worried that his allergies were worsening. The owl perched atop a tall stack of storybooks, scratching his head with a concern. Where is Amos? The animals wondered. Later that day, My good friends are here. The elephant prepared a game of chess. Amos thought and thought before making a move. I'm too tired to run races today, Amos said to the tortoise. Let's play hide and seek instead. The tortoise hid inside his shell. Amos hid beneath the covers. Amos yawned, oh, I could really use a nap. The penguin sat quietly, keeping Amos's feet warm. Achoo, Amos awoke with a sneeze. The rhinoceros was ready with a handkerchief. I'd be 
beginning to feel much better. Thank you, said Amos to his friends. He swung his legs out of bed. Perhaps we'll share a pot of tea. Amos wound his alarm clock. It's getting late, he said. After all, we have, to, we have a morning bus to catch. So Amos said, good night to the elephant and good night to the tortoise and good night to the penguin and good night to the rhinoceros and good night to the owl who, knowing that Amos was afraid of the dark, read a story aloud before turning out the light. Oh, what good friends. I'm glad they're going back to the zoo, though. I don't know, maybe they could all stay in Amos's house. Look at that cozy situation right there. Have you ever slept with a rhinoceros beside your bed? Oh, I haven't, but I'd kind of like to. And I would really like an owl to read me a bedtime story. That would be fun. A sick day for Amos McGee. I miss you, friends. Mwah.